But what's up guys, in this video we have another Fusion Strike booster box and pretty much we just opened one so go check out that video if you want to see the pull rates for that one and then come back check out this video so you can see the pull rates, kind of see what, what are the pull rates per booster box, we will open more next week as well so if you want to like and subscribe make sure you do that now uh, so you don't miss out and see the pull rates, we'll do a profit video once this set comes out, see uh, what are the... What sort of pools and what value of pools you get in per booster box? Is it worth buying? There's some questions you guys may have and we love just making fun content for you guys. So like and subscribe. We always get early content as well of all the sets. So another reason to subscribe here. But this set is awesome. There's so many cards the Pokemon company hasn't put into English sets. They just threw it in here. Including the Gengar VMAX which was in the Japanese deck and it was like a alternative art chase card so one in every 20 decks you had a chance to pull it uh the espion v max which was in the gym set is also here the celebi v promo which was a jet black poltergeist uh promo card and they just put it in here as well so they just put loads of cards which was missed out throughout the year and put them in here so there's so many cool chase cards it's a huge set guys make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and in this video we're gonna go straight to the rare as well and then yeah, because obviously the other one we showed you the comments, the uncommons, so you guys can have a good look at different comments and uncommons of the set because it's the first look of it. But this one, we just want to get through it, so we got some content for you. So yeah, let's go. And we also have um, the pre-release kits here, which I'll be opening this video. These will be on the channel as well. So I'll have the other booster box and I'll have a video opening these before this one. This is the last video of the early ones and I'll have more early ones next week. So yeah, let me take a thumbnail and let's get back into it. So thumbnail taken and let's get into it guys, a quick pack opening of this, well not quick, we just go straight to the rare which you guys enjoy and love to see, so yeah let's see what the pull rates are saying and obviously if you don't know, these have different code cards, so you got white and black code cards, but the white code cards mean no hits, and let's see what we have here, oh no hit again so you can't show you, so Oricorio rare, well, let's see what you can get. Hopefully, you can put one of the big chase cards in today's video. But yeah, apparently this set is quite tough. But then again, say I feel like all the main sets. When you're opening uh, celebrations or shining fates, when you compare it to the main set, it's very difficult. Holiday sets, you are going to get more pulls, more likely, easier to get pulls. You know what I mean? But toxicity. So there's two different toxicity holo rares, and as you can see, black borders with a little bit green there for the hits code cards. So there's two different code cards are there oh they both got green but one's got white border one's got black border so awesome little differentiations there yeah there are two different toxicity holo cards in this set uh but let's go let's see what we got here oh viker vault what's who else is it just two viker vaults all right never seen that artwork before first time seeing it but come on let's see what we got here oh cinderace v what set is this cinderace from let me know down in the comments guys i actually don't know what set this is from so yeah, let me know down in the comments, where is this one from? Is it from the, like one of the Japanese decks, the family set? I'm not quite sure, so I haven't seen that one before. So let me know down in the comments, guys, uh, the Japanese equivalent to it, but nothing in here. So yeah, the code card, make sure to like the video, uh, favorite the video, put it in your watch later. So when this set releases, you can add the code cards to your uh, TCG online game. You can redeem the code cards on release day. But Mew Full Art here, let's go. Wow, so our first Full Art Mew, obviously there's Alternative Art Mew, there's the VMAX Mew, the Rainbow Mew. But this is one of them, I want to get all of them. So this is one of them, ticked off already. Mew Full Art, what a way to show you one of the bangers early on. I would keep a few of these as well. Let me know if you're a fan of this artwork. Shout out Barber Pro for the semi ridges as always. But yeah, let's go. What a pull that was, guys. Mew Full Art. Oh, Swampert Hollow. I swear this was in uh, uh, EV Heroes. Was this in EV Heroes? So it should have been in uh, Evolving Skies, but I guess it's here instead. So yeah, there's, there's loads of cards that were from throughout different sets, different promos, different products. And it just all end up here. So like the Gengar V, that was in the Japanese Gengar VMAX deck. Uh, and then yeah, I guess it's in here as well And then obviously we have fusion arts the Japanese version a lot of the cards will be in here But Gengar V another card I'll need to add in my collection need a few of those out Gengar artwork is awesome. This looks cool. You know what I mean? Let's go. 
This box is so far a lot better than the previous one, but definitely go check out the last one. If you wanna make sure and see the pull rates for these boxes before making your purchase. Uh, we will be doing a box break on this on release day. So if you guys wanna get involved in that, it will be on famousgrail.com. But I'll let ass, just non-hollow there. And you got a chance here reverse. Yeah, just gonna do a little bit quicker video today, just so it's easier for me to edit. You guys love it as well. But bro, where's this Lucario from in Japan? I didn't I never seen this one before. Lucario. Yo, this is insane. I don't think he has any full art form, so it's just probably the regular V. But this artwork is awesome. Love Lucario. Let me know guys if you're a big Lucario fan as well as like me. But yeah, let's go, let's see what we can get. Ooh, nothing there, got Y Veltel there. Boom, code card. Ooh, a Grand Bull Rare, and then gotta love the Mudkip. Boom, let me know if you're a Mudkip. Is your Mudkip would be the starter you pick from that generation? Let me know. But you got Totodile. Let me know from Gen 2, would you pick up Totodile? But Landorus here, let me know if you're a Landorus fan. No, a few people are. Do you like the Landorus in that? So boom, a Landorus hollow here. Let's go put out the hollows. And come on, this has been a decent box so far. Decent, decent box it's been, but nothing in that final pack. So hopefully we can still pull a secret rare from the other half here. So yeah, still haven't seen a secret rare from this set. So hopefully today this box will be the one where we can get a secret rare as well as maybe some nice old art for lots. Let's see. You can get possible two for lots per box. And also the secret rares are not guaranteed, but let's hope we can get it on this half. So electrode rare there. Come on, let's see. Ooh, butterfree. Butterfree hollow here. So let's go. Nice one there. So yeah, nothing there, just the Oricorio, and I believe that is a pre-release promo, but you'll see that in a pre-release promo video, which we uploaded the earlier this week. We got Serena here, so you get about four Vs, three to four Vs per booster box. So we got four Vs now, we still got tons of packs left. I feel like we have a good chance to get a full art and a secret rare. Still haven't got VMAX as well, so maybe a secret rare and a VMAX to go. Let's see if that is going to be right. Obviously, we've opened a lot of boxes. You know I open a lot for my collection, so let's see if I'm right today. All right, come on, Vika Vault. Ooh, for Alligator Hollow, that's a nice one. Haven't seen that one today either, so that is cool. So for Alligator, let me know if you're a Gen 2 for Alligator fan, guys. Let's go. Ooh, so come on, hopefully, see a nice VMAX today. What VMAXs do you want to see? I want to see a view, Mew Me, I say View, Mew VMAX, um, Gengar VMAX would be nice. But, oh, lovely Ninetales artwork. Let me know if you're a fan of that. Autumn vibes there, and Cloyster. So, yeah, Arcanade. So, yeah, I got these early, bought them off the seller. I don't, obviously, I don't get these any other way. Uh, but yeah, boy, for seller. Oh, Chrononimbabul. I can't never pronounce this one. This set's gonna be awful for that. But let me get to what I was saying in a, in a bit. But Chronon Crab Ominable. Have I said that right? Let me know. Full art. So yeah, first time seeing this. So two full arts in this box. Let's go. Hopefully, still can get a secret rare. So yeah, paid over retail and drove a quite a long way to pick these up just so I could deliver you guys this content early. Uh, so hopefully you do appreciate the efforts we put into this channel like oh Secret rare here. Let's let's just let's just go straight to it But yeah, we put a lot of effort into this channel. So hopefully you guys do appreciate and subscribe here if you haven't but Power tablet yo man's giving some polos What's these tablets are like those polo suites <laughs> yo Power tablet, gold and secret. At least we left with two full arts and secret rare. Nonetheless, I'm not big into trainer item secret rares or train. I don't really collect trainer secret rares in general unless they're a, like a childhood favorite character or s something from my childhood that I remember. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you're adding this to the collection. I guess if you're set complete and you would, 
Uh, but yeah, let me know if you do collect item cards in your collection, secret item cards. Let me know that down in the comments. But yes, a power tablet, secret rare. So we'll take it, we'll take it. Two full arts, a secret rare. Really good uh, pulls, to be honest. Even though they're not the best full arts. In, well, we got the mu full art, but the chronominable and the power tablet's not the best, but to pull them is better than nothing. That's my motto always. Like, you might not. Oh, another. There's two Nine Tails artworks, so that's another Nine Tails. So my motto is like, if you, it's better than nothing. So it's better. We got the Golden Secret rather than nothing in that slot. So you know what I mean. But Gengar twice, so five V's in here, I believe. So not too bad. So keep an eye out. Keep a uh, keep track of the pull rates because it's important. You want to know average pull rate. Once we open about 10, 20 boxes of this set on the channel, you can kind of calculate an average. But Luxray rare there, and then obviously Toxel artwork looks awesome. Is that the final pack? Come on, give me a secret rare. What we're we gonna get? Or oh, just a Kangas gone. But boom, guys, a fast opening, a straight to the rare opening. Vivian Frank special. Well, Vivian's collectibles, that's the channel's name, but yeah. So this is what we pulled. Five Vs here. We got, uh, and then we got two full arts, including the Mew, which is lovely, and any golden secret rare. How, how awesome is that, guys? Hopefully, you're loving the content. Hopefully, you do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, we're gonna open up the pre release kits now. So, hopefully, you guys are ready for that. This video should be on the channel already, as well as the other booster box opening. So, if you haven't seen those, go subscribe, go check those out. Go on our channel, go check them out. I'll put it on the end card as well. But, guys, like, subscribe. We always get early content. We will have the ETBs early next week, and we will have some more booster boxes to open. And we'll do a box break on Friday as well, release day. Huge one. Hopefully, we can do a couple hundred packs like we always do. So, uh, guys, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.